Hello guys, this is a Smash Bros. Week here, and yep, this guy is giving and the next character is Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs, a game that, yeah, it came out, yeah, it was a game that came out, it was very hyped up, but it wasn't really, yeah, it was, it, the series has kind of been out rocky ever since then. But Aiden Pierce is revealed alongside Beat, other characters are heavy, and that punk. Punk. That punk, that's an actual character. But yeah, I don't see this ever happening. Beat, Heavy, that Punk are not happening. I don't see it. And also, all the characters are being revealed at once. Rainbow, I don't, I don't think Rainbow is going to be even in any form in Smash Bros. She's a very obscure character outside of, you know, 4 chan circles. And that's basically it about Rainbow. I know people are trying to tell me that Rainbow isn't that obscure. Rainbow isn't that obscure. She is very popular. But she is not very really popular among these general audience. I think Nintendo probably took that because he in. And that's why we don't have characters like Greymoot in Smash Bros. Or Xeno in Smash Bros. Because they're not going to be in Smash Bros. Jacket, Crystal, <laughs> and Doug Bowser. No, that's not going to happen. No, that's not going to happen. Also, Gronk's me. Costume of the stage. Spirit events will involve Cyberpunk 2077 for some odd reason. Genshin Impact. Nuclear Phone, Halo, Mr. Ozo, Toy Toy Elections, and My Diary, Desu. Zeno is anything is not seen anywhere. Well, at this pass, Sakurai leaves the development team and spats all together and can finally take himself to a full time Kokasu modding. Yes, though, on my fix as well as for anything else. Enjoy. You didn't even spell Nintendo correctly. Yep, this week is, is completely fake. And that's basically it. Goodbye.